Welcome back. We have two more navigation related components to learn about. And both the components are more suited for a mobile or tablet device width. The first of those components is the speed dial component. When pressed, the component displays a few options in the form of a speed dial. Let's understand its usage with an example. Let's begin by creating a new file in the components folder. MUI speed dial dot TSX. Within the file, I'm going to create a new component. To create a speed dial, we need three components. So import speed dial, speed dial action, and speed dial icon from material UI. Now for the JSX, replace the div tag with the speed dial component. On this component, let's add an aria label for accessibility. Navigation speed dial. Next, we're going to position this component at the bottom right of the screen. So SX, position absolute, bottom 16 pixels, and right 16 pixels. Next, we need to specify the icon prop, which will be equal to the speed dial icon we've imported. So icon, curly braces, speed dial icon. When this icon is clicked, the user is presented with a few options. Let's add those options using the speed dial action component. I'm going to add three actions for which I will be importing three icons. At the top, import copy icon, print icon, and share icon from the icons library. Now, within the speed dial component, invoke the speed dial action component, passing in an icon prop, copy icon, and a tooltip prop that describes the icon. Tooltip title is equal to copy. Similarly, we have print icon and print as tooltip. And finally, share icon and share as tooltip. If we now include this component in app component, and head to the browser, you can see the speed dial component at the bottom right of the screen. When I hover over the icon, you can see the three action icons. Hover over them and you see the tooltip. We have copy, print, and share. And this component is more applicable for a mobile device. So let's inspect element and switch to a mobile viewport. Now on click of speed dial, the action icons are revealed. Long press on the action icons and you see the tooltip. If you want the tooltip to always be visible, you can pass the tooltip open prop on the speed dial action component. So back in VS Code, on the speed dial action components, I'm going to specify tooltip open. If you now head back to the browser, you can see the tooltip text is always present when the action icons are displayed. Finally, if you want to change the speed dial icon when you press the button, you can add the open icon prop on the speed dial icon component. At the top, let's import edit icon from the icons library. On the speed dial icon, we specify open icon as a prop, and this is going to be equal to the edit icon. Head back to the browser, and when you click the button, the icon changes from a plus icon to an edit icon. 
So this is pretty much about the speed dial component in Material UI. At the moment, we are not handling the click action on speed dial action component. However, you can add a click handler and navigate to different routes based on the requirements your application might have. In the next video, let's take a look at the bottom navigation component from Material UI.